Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in Boston. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Tuesday, April 2nd. Coming up on today's show, we'll get into the weather report, then we'll jump into some local news and a few interesting happenings in business, science, and entertainment. But first, you'll be interested to know. 2001, A Space Odyssey, an iconic American sci-fi film directed by Stanley Kubrick and co-written with Arthur C. Clarke, was released. Known for its pioneering special effects, it won an Academy Award for Best Visual Effects. With its profound narrative, it remains a seminal work in film history, celebrated for its innovative storytelling and visual splendor. So now you know. And now you know what time it is. It's time for the weather report. In the Boston area. This morning, it's cloudy and feels like 37 degrees with nine mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at 711 and it will rise again tomorrow at 622. It looks like we're in for a mostly cloudy day with a high near 47 and wind of 10 to 14 mile per hour. Tonight, mostly cloudy with a low around 47. For all you beach runners out there, the first low tide Tuesday will be at 12 a.m. with a high tide at 6.30. The near shore buoy at Cape Cod Bay reads 42 degrees for the water temperature. Looking ahead in the weather, rain dominates Wednesday starting before 9 a.m. with an 80% chance and escalating to showers and possible thunderstorms at night with a low of 35 degrees. Showers continue Thursday with a high near 44, easing slightly at night. Friday scattered showers under mostly cloudy skies peak at 46 degrees, tapering off by night to 35. It will be mostly cloudy on Saturday with a high of 46. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from 8 to 5. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them Sunny Morning sent you. In local news, Massachusetts is renowned for whale watching, offering tours from April to October along its 1,500 miles of coastline, including the Stellwagen National Marine Sanctuary. This area is a habitat for various whale species, including the endangered North Atlantic right and say whales. Tourists may also encounter humpback, fin, and mink whales, along with dolphins, seals, turtles, and fish. There are numerous tour operators, such as Seven Seas Whale Watch, Cape Ann Whale Watch, and Dolphin Fleet Whale Watch, each providing unique experiences and the chance to observe these majestic creatures up close. Prices and services vary, with options for both public and private tours, ensuring a memorable whale-watching experience for everyone. Now on to sports. Caitlin Clark led the Iowa Hawkeyes to a thrilling 94-87 victory over the LSU Tigers, advancing to their second consecutive Final Four. In this high-stakes rematch of last year's championship game, Clark's outstanding performance included 41 points, 12 assists, and 7 rebounds. Her achievements not only underscored her status as this season's standout star, but also broke multiple records. As the regional's most outstanding player, Clark's focus remains on capturing the national championship that eluded Iowa last year. The victory over LSU a team that previously bested Iowa decisively, showcased the Hawkeyes' determination and skill, with Clark's long-range shots particularly highlighting their third-quarter dominance. This win brings Clark and Iowa 
one step closer to their ultimate goal. While her record-breaking senior season continues to cement her legacy in college basketball history. Last night in local sports. Last night in local sports. The Red Sox on the road beat the Athletics 9 to 0. And the Celtics on the road beat the Hornets 118 to 104. Tonight, the Red Sox remain in Oakland for game 2 against the Athletics. And the Bruins are on the road in Nashville to take on the Predators. In top news, Cognition Labs, an AI startup focusing on a tool for coding, is in discussions to secure a valuation of up to $2 billion in its latest funding round. This valuation would mark a significant increase, nearly six times its valuation from just a few weeks prior. Backed by prominent Silicon Valley venture firms, including Peter Thiel's Founders Fund, Cognition Labs is riding the wave of intense interest in AI technology. Despite being in its early stages and lacking significant revenue, Cognition's potential is underscored by the investor enthusiasm surrounding AI startups, mirroring the rapid valuations seen in companies like Mistral and Perplexity. With its AI coding tool, Devon, Cognition aims to revolutionize software development through automation, indicating a broader trend towards the integration of AI in coding and software development amidst growing concerns of an AI industry bubble. In business news, let's take a moment and look back on the history of Bitcoin. Bitcoin's journey since its creation in 2009 has been marked by remarkable growth and significant volatility, showcasing its evolution from a novel digital currency to a major investment vehicle. Initially valued at less than a penny, Bitcoin's worth skyrocketed to over $70,000 by March 2024, demonstrating both its investment potential and its susceptibility to dramatic price fluctuations. The cryptocurrency, founded by the mysterious Satoshi Nakamoto, operates on a blockchain, offering a decentralized alternative to traditional currency. Despite its use in criminal activities, Bitcoin's appeal lies in its independence from central bank regulation. Over the years, Bitcoin has witnessed several key milestones, from the first real-world transaction, where 10,000 Bitcoins were exchanged for two pizzas, to regulatory actions by the IRS, and its adoption by entire countries, like El Salvador, as legal tender. Having events aimed at reducing the rate at which new Bitcoins are mined, and predictions by investors like Kathy Wood about its future value have also been pivotal. As of 2024, with another having anticipated, Bitcoin remains a potent symbol of the digital age's financial innovation. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is now just below $67,000. Ethereum is at $3,300. And Solana is $184. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the San Diego area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach, Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk science. The Odysseus lunar lander, developed by intuitive machines, made a historic landing on the moon, marking the first U.S. mission to the lunar surface since 1972. Despite a challenging landing that resulted in the spacecraft tipping over, it remains operational. Launched on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, 
Odysseus represents the first successful soft landing by a private spacecraft, part of NASA's initiative to engage private companies in lunar exploration. The mission overcame obstacles, including navigation issues and communication challenges, to continue its scientific objectives on the moon. And in entertainment news, Bruce Springsteen made a significant cameo on the penultimate episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm, showcasing his natural talent for acting. Playing himself, Springsteen effortlessly fits into the show's universe, interacting with Larry David's character in a storyline that combines humor with a bit of social commentary. His performance, while playing a version of himself, suggests Springsteen could explore more acting roles. This cameo not only adds to the list of memorable guest appearances on Curb Your Enthusiasm, but also highlights Springsteen's potential for a second act in his career within the acting world. Well, alrighty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from Stanley Kubrick, the acclaimed director of 2001, A Space Odyssey, Full Metal Jacket, Spartacus, and many more. Reminds me of a conversation I had with Steven Spielberg about what was the most difficult and challenging thing about directing a film. And I believe Steven summed it up about as profoundly as you can. He thought the most difficult and challenging thing about directing a film was getting out of the car. I'm sure you all know the feeling. But at the same time, anyone who has ever been privileged to direct a film also knows that although it can be like trying to write War and Peace in a bumper car in an amusement park, when you finally get it right, there are not many joys in life that can equal the feeling. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the weather reports. Have an amazing day, my good friends. We'll see you tomorrow with another episode of Sunny Mornings in Boston.